the truth of this world. <sighs> what could it be? The passenger ship from Lyra that we're supposed to meet should be arriving soon. Let's go to the docks. You know that Shincho will be on board, right? So we should be careful not to say anything about the stolen novels. visiting from Lyra to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you onto the island! Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? <laughs> yes, in fact we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of Theater Mechanicus. The inventor of Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Although the guild manager was not interested, the master still wanted to support them. We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Oh! Speaking of which, where's the young Master? Ah, well, uh, Master, he's, uh... The Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. Oh, please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. When I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. Uh, yes, now that we've arrived, the Kanjo Commission will likely wish to inspect our invitation letter. Let's keep it in hand, shall we? Huh? That's odd. There was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall seeing it there before. Ooh! Let Paimon have a look! There's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before! Even the handwriting looks exactly the same! The story you found before? Oh, yeah! In the warehouse down by the... Uh, by the... The Poem Hunt competition! <laughs> yeah, that's it! A friend of ours is on retail to paint portraits of the five Kassen. You know, as part of the Iridori Festival. Poetic stories about the five cousins have been hidden in various places nearby. If you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait. Wait a moment. So you mean that... Uh, hey! It's hard coming up with stuff on the spot like that. There is a chance of meeting Kelks in person? Uh... Huh? Oh, uh, yeah! You could say that. Really? That's wonderful! I knew that Kelks would attend the Irodori Festival, but convincing my father to let me come to Inazuma was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. Just a few days later, Word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kassen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together, but it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. So, I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shinjo. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. Also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. Ah, so you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. 
However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Kalx's beautiful illustrations. Kalx is not only a skilled artist, but he also carries out his craft with great alacrity. I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. But when I looked at the art, the brushwork did not even look the slightest bit rushed. His work is truly exquisite. Oh my, I was beginning to get carried away there. Let us depart, quickly now. The idea of meeting Albedo managed to draw Shincho's attention and keep the situation under wraps. Let's just hope we don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. Great weather for practicing martial arts, but perfect weather for reading. Hey, what's that ridiculous look for? You look as if you're trying to decipher some strange text written on my forehead. I would say we are book buddies. Huh? Combat? Kukwa clan? Comrades in arms? What on earth are you talking about? I told you that's our little secret. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Traveler, Paimon. How are you? And who is this accompanying you? You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... Ah, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. Please, call me Xingcho. And you may call me Albedo, then. No, no. That would be most improper. Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler, it'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. <laughs> it's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Chincho act this awkward before either. Uh um, you guys, it's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Oh, by the way, we happen to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? Poem hunt? Uh, you know, that thing where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five cousin? Uh, Venti found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits. <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, I understand the story now. Thank you. It's very helpful. Splendid. Though... I'm still piecing together the story myself. Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, why don't we discuss this over a meal? Uh, well, about that... Do you have other plans, Xingqiu? Uh, no, no, not at all. Speaking of dining, Shimura's Unagi Chaskia is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? Shimura's? Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Huh? No way! Paimon thinks we acted well together. Oh, do we say something we weren't supposed to? <laughs> no, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Huh? Shinjo's suspicious? Hey, what are you two talking about? Paimon, you read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Shinjo on its own, 
What if we read it together with a previous poem we found? Read them together? Hmm, let's see. Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. So, Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. Huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword is Shinkyo himself? No way! That can't be right! Shinkyo only arrived in Inazuma this morning! And that is precisely the point of suspicion. If Shinkyo had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chazuke? Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Hmm. Are you saying that Shinkyo has already been in Inazuma for some time? And that he's only pretending he just arrived? Yes, that is indeed my conclusion. But how could Shinkyo be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. Uh, calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Shinkcho in person, we've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. I think there must be some deeper motive at play here. The story also tells us that Aoi no Okina flees with a poem because of a threat. Oh? Could Shinkcho be in danger? It's difficult to say at this point. But, given that Wii U restaurant is indoors, it'll be easy for us to detect anyone following or eavesdropping on us. I think it should be safe for us to talk there. I'll be relying on your assistance to get to the bottom of this matter. Good. Then let's head to Wii U restaurant. I don't see anyone suspicious around. It seems clear for the moment. Let's go inside and wait for Shinkyo. Oh, this whole thing's starting to make Paimon a little nervous. What do we do? And what do we talk about when Shinkyo gets here? First, we must ascertain whether Shinkyo was already in Inazuma or not. If we can find evidence of him deceiving us, then we can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth. Since we're still waiting for him, why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? I'll try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Oh, come to think of it, Shincho mentioned that he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Is that so? Hmm. That is also a very valuable clue. Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi, do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. But the weather finally cleared up today, so we have some fresh catch. So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. Oh, this might 
might be some useful information. The last phase of the Irodori Festival is when they release the all-new publications. The one I'm really looking forward to is A Legend of Sword. That's right. A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I hear that he's actually pretty young. Wait a minute. Did you just hear that? Not only will Xingqiu be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat? Mmm, that was delicious! Inazuman cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. <laughs> That's good! We were worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shinkyo and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. What book were you reading on the way here? Oh, I was reading a novel called Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. It was sent to me by my editor. Didn't you feel dizzy while reading on the ship? <laughs> it was nothing I couldn't handle. Don't forget, I'm proficient in the arts of the Guhua clan. That being said, there were quite a few people aboard who felt seasick. Well... There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about what he said so far. Well, I've never embarked on such a long journey before. Though I was quite excited when we set off, the long days at sea quickly became most monotonous. Speaking of the journey, did anything noteworthy happen along the way? Well, to be honest, I spent most of the trip with my nose in a novel. <laughs> well, that didn't tell us much. To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. So, when the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo, I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude for providing the illustrations in my novel. My novel didn't sell well in Liyue, so I must admit that I had some reservations regarding its potential. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so I'm feeling slightly uneasy myself. Light novel illustrations are typically centered around the characters, but this time, I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Like anything suspicious has come up so far. No, there was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So, logically speaking, there's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. Uh, Xingqiu, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh? Why the solemn looks all of a sudden? Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. 
Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad these last few days. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened! On top of that, the latest installment of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. If that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... The jig's up, Shincho. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry, the Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers. We can help you. No, no, please. You misunderstand me. <sighs> I suppose my lack of sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. I did in fact come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. <sighs> oh, this is most embarrassing. Oh, well, if this isn't a coincidence, I didn't expect to see everyone here. Huh? Tone Deaf Bard, what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Hmm. Time I knew you couldn't possibly be up to anything good. Says who? <laughs> In fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the Tenryo Commission has apprehended the criminal who stole all those copies of A Legend of Sword. You needn't worry about it any longer. Huh? The criminal who stole A Legend of Sword? Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? Oh no. The person they apprehended. Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name, but I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Everyone, it's too late to explain. We must make haste and rescue Onodera! Please, wait! Onodera is innocent! Oh, so you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. In fact, we were just getting ready to leave. Oh, phew. What a relief. Hmm, wait a minute. Does everyone else here already know? <laughs> <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here, in order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh... Shinjo looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on here? Uh, ahem. Though it's most embarrassing. It appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret. In the end, I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jen Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. Everyone, please let me explain. For the Iridori Festival, I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since joining the Yai Publishing House, but Lady Yai also gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Gen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Even though such an event will be difficult for Gen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Jin Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book, and we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Jin Yu could use these few days to sign them all. 
I thought everything would work out without a hitch. I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. To make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Jen Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. <sighs> All of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera, I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. Also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake of my pride. Hey, come on you two, loosen up a little. The theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Besides, everyone has something they do not wish others to see. Yeah, that's right. All that matters is that Shinkyo and his books are okay. Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yes, I understand. I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. Let's tag along. Onodera? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on leave these few days? I'm very sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. Yes, Onodera, but... Why didn't you tell everyone earlier? If you had told us, we could have thought of some ways to help you. That's right. We're a team, and we should be helping each other in tough situations like this. Let's leave the past behind us now. Our first priority is to help Jen Yu with his signatures. How is your progress so far? My progress is not what I had hoped for. Even after working through the night these past few days, I've only finished perhaps one-tenth of the signatures. Oh, no wonder Shincho looked so sleepy today. I understand. Murata, go back to the Ai Publishing House and get Aratani to book a room on the second floor of the Uyu restaurant. We'll be using it for Gen Yi's emergency calligraphy lessons. Yes, Mr. Hirayama. It just so happens that my brother is a calligrapher. Should I ask him to lend his assistance as well? Yes, good idea. Ah, you've just reminded me. Two calligraphers from Liyue arrived today. We've worked with them before, so I'll go and ask them to help out too. It seems I'm really in for it now. No need to worry, Zhen Yu. I'm sure you can do it. Didn't you finish the last chapter of your novel in just one week's time? Yes, but writing novels and learning calligraphy are two entirely different skills. Even though Sing Cho still has to deal with his handwriting issue, Paimon somehow feels a little relieved now. I always used to prefer working alone in my workshop, but I've come to realize that solving problems with others also has its merits. We also owe a special ode of gratitude to the mysterious person who has been leaving important info for us along the way. Huh? You mean whoever left behind those stories about the five Kassen? Pardon me, but what are you talking about? Oh! Right, we haven't had a chance to explain things to Shinkyo yet. I see. It appears that Onodera and I were spotted when we were moving the books. Albedo, may I ask you one thing? Are you able to include me in a portrait as well? Not only do I owe the successful resolution of today's incident to that story, but I also hope that I'll remember this lesson. No problem. 
Considering the similarities between the portrait and the events that have taken place, your proposal is very reasonable. That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Albedo really is something. He finished the portrait of Aoi no Okina in no time at all! Wonder how Shincho's calligraphy training is going at Uyu Restaurant. Hey! Do you think whoever left those stories for us could be hiding somewhere nearby? Oh, hello! Mr. Story Writer? Are you here? Uh, could you please help Shincho with something? He's a friend of ours, and the release of his new book is super important to him. Oh, what's that sound? <laughs> it was just a cat. Looks like we can't make them reveal themselves that easily. It's getting late now. Well, let's go back and get some rest. We still have to go to the docks and wait for another ship tomorrow morning.